every one of us that on this day that is 26 january 
the year 1950 we constituted the sovereign democratic republic india the constitution of our country the document which is the supreme which describes the supreme law of our country came into force on this day in the year 1950 that we all know so the country after the independence nearly took a great leap to draft this constitution nearly for 2 years 11 months i mean 17 days to draft this constitution which is the longest document in the world in fact
opportunity to express my sincere thanks for this offer to be a deep guest on this August occasion. It's a great honor for me in my life, which I will never forget. And today, we are celebrating the 74th Republic Day. So, I just want to uh, stress only two points. One is the Gratitude on this Republic nation. Gratitude for this Republic nation. This is one aspect which I want to stress. The second one is the patriotism. Being patriotic, what we are going to gain. If you remember these two, our life will be successful. And uh, I just want to Press on only these two points. If you are quiet for only three to five minutes, I will finish off my talk. Just three minutes to five minutes, I want you to be quiet and listen to me. Because we are celebrating this. And behind this, the patriotism is there. Behind this, the gratitude for the Republic nation is there. We, we all are involved in this. This celebration. The whole nation is involved in this celebration. A nation to be republic means it should have an elected leader and it should have an elected government. India stands a symbol for the world, for the republic nation, because we have elected governments in all states and uh, we have elected leaders. And for this, our forefathers have sacrificed their life and still they are protecting our borders as our principal madam pointed out, that our soldiers are on the border and protecting our nation. Thereby, we are able to have a peaceful sleep, we are able to live peacefully, we are able to express. This freedom is not possible for many people of the world. Now you might have seen in Prague, 80 lakh families shifted from the country. No land to live, no proper food. No shelter. But we have to thank our forefathers.
குடியரசு என்பதன் பொருள் மக்கள் மக்களுக்காக மக்களே நடத்தும் மாற்று என்பதாகும் ஜாதி மதம் ஆண் பெண் போன்ற எவ்வித பேதமும் இன்றி இந்திய அரசியல் அமைப்பு சட்டத்தின் கீழ் நாம் அனைவரும் சமம் என்பது ஒவ்வொரு குடியரசு தினத்தன்றும் உறுதிப்படுத்தப்படுகிறது I would like to invite on the stage my friend Abhira Abhishek to give a speech in English. Achyapa! 